everyone. This is my alcohol free life channel where we're learning to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel and take another second and smash that like button? I'd really appreciate it. Thanks a lot again for stopping by. I'm Terry G and let's get to the video. What this video is about is something that happens in 12 step programs and you might hear it. And it's around the three month mark in sobriety. You know, three months, to four months of sobriety. And you might hear it from a speaker, somebody doing the chips, or just having coffee with like-minded people or your sponsor. And just to back it up a little bit more is that there's no real, you know, studies about this or, or anything like that. It's just a phenomena, something that happens to people in recovery and happens in early recovery. Like I said, three or four months. And in my area, we have the chip system. One month chip, three month chip, six month chip, nine month chip. Then after the nine month chip, you get your 12 month medallion and we celebrate your sobriety. And when that person at the end of the meeting here in Ottawa, we do it at the end of the meeting, does those chips, that person might hold the red chip up, the 90 day chip or the three month chip and say, does anybody have three months of sobriety? This, they might say, is the danger chip. And everybody says the danger chip at three months. Not everybody, but a lot of people do say it. Or they might say the pink cloud. And that's what they used to tell me in early sobriety. Beware of the pink cloud, the three month danger chip. Like we're all gonna go crazy at three months. You know, that's what it sounds like to me. What is this about three months, 90 days of continuous sobriety or the pink cloud? What is it about that? that makes it dangerous. Well, it's not, I'll explain it the way it is. It's that in my sobriety, at three months, things were pretty damn good. My girlfriend came back. I was able to see my kids. My mother was overjoyed that I had sobriety. I had money in my pocket. I was sleeping great. My boss even loved me again. I had my job back. At three months of sobriety, things were going pretty good in my life. Physically, I felt better. I was eating better, sleeping better. I, I was getting all these kudos from people around me. I felt pretty damn good about things. I really did. So I was like floating in sobriety. I said, gee, I can do this sobriety easily. And that's what they talk about, the pink cloud, is that Life is going really well. It really is, and it is going well for us. But the thing about it is, is that we can't stay there forever on this pink cloud. Because the reason we're on the pink cloud is because we're getting kudos, we do feel better. There's a lot of things going on that are really positive for us, for most of us, including myself. There's a lot of things going on that were really positive within the first 90 days. You know, even my court charges got dropped, believe it or not. Unbelievable. I went to court and I got a, a suspended sentence as long as I kept the peace. So things are going really well. I was getting a lot of rewards about, uh, you know, a lot of rewards from all the areas of my life because I chose sobriety. And that's basically riding the pink cloud. Things are going well. And that's not the danger part because you're entitled to have greatness in your sobriety. You're, you should have greatness in your journey. You should be happy in your journey. Your wife and kids and everything should come back to you. Hopefully they will, right? But in early sobriety, all we've really done and all I've really done at this time at 90 days, I haven't worked the steps. I don't have, I don't have a sponsor. If I do have a sponsor, I don't talk to them. I don't really have a home group and I'm not active in that home group because I really don't have one. And I've really not changed very much in my sobriety. I haven't learned how to cope with stress, deal with my past, deal with my anger issues, deal with childhood issues. A lot of things I haven't dealt with. And I haven't started working a program of recovery. I've just reaped the benefits of recovery because I'm physically sober. And that's basically what a pink cloud is, is what I just described to you. And so what happens to a lot of people in recovery, and listen up, okay, because this is the truth. They ride this pink cloud, and all of a sudden, they wake up and something happens. Maybe they have a fight with their wife. 
Maybe they get fired. Maybe they have an anger outburst. Something usually on the negative side of life happens to that individual like it happened to me and you go on the pink cloud and all of a sudden, boom, you're down. You feel depressed. You feel hopeless. You just left the pink cloud and you feel that sobriety is not worth it because you thought sobriety was supposed to be like the first three months. And it is supposed to be like that one day at a time, but we have to work for it. And that's the danger of it. It's not so much being happy and joyful that you're sober. It's that we don't have the coping mechanisms or the coping skills to deal with life on life's terms one day at a time. So we can't stay happy all the time. That's impossible. Well, if you're on medication, maybe, <laughs> or you're drunk or you're smoking dope, well, you can't be happy then. But you fall off it. And that's the danger of it. So a lot of people will go along in their recovery and life will start getting lousy again. And it usually happens around three months, between three months and six months. You see somebody that's doing really great in their recovery, then you see them at a meeting and you ask them how things are going and uh, the wife kicked me out again. I'm unemployed. Things aren't going that great for me. And that's perfectly normal to feel like that. Because if you think that putting a plug on the jug, just stopping alcohol is enough to get content of sobriety and find joy and happiness and freedom in sobriety, you're terribly misled yourself. Quitting drinking is a huge part of it. We must do that in order to get recovery. We must do that. But we need to change ourselves. We need to change 180. We need to learn how to deal with our anger. We need to work the steps of, of Alcoholics Anonymous or any whatever program you're involved with. You need to get involved in that program. Do a fourth step, do a fifth step. Find your character defects, your shortcomings. Make your amends. <clears throat> Learn how to deal with stress. Lean on people, get a support network, all that kind of stuff. In the first three months to six months, a lot of us don't do that because we think sobriety is just okay like it is. We're all happy. Look at everybody's happy with me that I'm sober. Until that day, we fall off the pink cloud. And that's why it's really dangerous. It's good to have, but be careful of it. Especially if it's your first attempt in recovery. Be careful of that. Because I didn't know what was going on. Somebody told me, be careful of that. And, and it happened. Things did not go well because I had no way to cope with things. Booze, you know, seeped into every nook and cranny of my life. I thought if I just stopped the drink, things would get better. Well, they got better at the start, but then they turned a lot worse too. They got a lot worse because I didn't have the skills to deal with life on life's terms. We need to deal with the past. We need to do all those things you hear in recovery. We need to do those things. In early recovery, it's not easy. It's not. I had a hell of a time in early recovery, but it was well worth it. It really is. Nowadays, I am free. I am joyful and life is content. I have a content life. But don't forget, I have many years of sobriety and it takes time. It takes work. But drinking is not a solution and thinking that something's wrong with you after you fall off that cliff of the pink cloud and you feel miserable and you're not, you're not happy anymore and life seems to be really hard, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just that that is still alcoholism. You're still dealing with the aftermath of the past and you don't have the skills to deal with life on life's terms. The only skill that we had to deal with life on life terms was we turned to our bottle. We turned to the booze. Feel angry, drink. Feel like sex, drink. Lost my job, drink. Wife hates me, drink. I'm on the street, drink. No money, drink. Everything was dealt with with the bottle. Everything. So we never dealt with anything. We never learned how to cope with anything. So I hope I explained to you what a pink cloud is, okay? And just keep in mind, it's perfectly normal. It really is. It's perfectly normal. It happens to a lot of us. Some people relapse, some people don't. A lot of us, it's a wake up call that we need to start working our program, that we need to start getting involved 
and whatever support network you have is if it's AA, smart recovery, you know, religious group, church groups, whatever it may be. AA doesn't have the market on recovery. Whatever it may be, whatever journey that you're taking in your recovery, get involved in that journey. Get involved with those people and tell them what's going on. And you'll see that your life will change 100%. The greatness, the miracles, the things that are going to happen to you, I can't even describe because my life is a lot better than I could ever imagine. And the way it's a lot better, that I feel a lot better about myself. It's not about my car or my house or my girlfriend or whatever, whoever it is, it's about me. I feel good in my own skin most days. And that's because of recovery, okay? So I just wanna give you that warning about the pink cloud or the 90 day chip. Around 90 days to six months, it happens around there, you know, four months, it might be three and a half months or four and a half months, but it does happen if we don't start getting involved in recovery. The old saying is, if you sober up a drunken horse thief, he is still a horse thief. He's just sober horse thief. We need to change our ways. We need to learn how to cope with stress, change our ways. Alcohol took so much away from us. It really did. We need to regain that back. We need to regain that back, okay, people? Thanks for stopping by. This is my Alcohol Free Life channel, where we learn to live sober one day at a time. My name is Terry G, and I am happy today, and I'm glad you're watching my video. You can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? Take another second and smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it, okay? And the old thing is, is stay sober, stay safe. Together, sobriety is easier. Together, it's easier to stay sober one day at a time, it really is, okay? So stay safe, stay silver, God bless, over and out. Ciao for now, bye-bye.